Flint. Pastor, it's so good to see you. Thank because you. Because we are graduating. 52 young people today. Very good. That have uh, pursued uh, high school education, well, a K-12 education with us. Some, I think three in fact, began as kindergarten children a long time ago when wow. I was just a baby. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> Everybody just gets serious now. <laughs> but those, I think we had three that's been with us in K-12, and that's wonderful. And others, of course, pop in throughout their educational career. And uh, we're graduating 52 of them. And folks, you know what? Each and every one has been accepted in order to graduate with a high school diploma from our school by a college before they graduate from high school, or we won't graduate. We just, we will not do that. So that is our, our board has uh, stuck with that as a, a premise, and we appreciate that. That is our commitment to young people and to families. You get your kid to our school, we're going to get them a college education. Anyway, I'm doing a lot of babbling here, but folks, it's a great day. The Lord has blessed us today, and we're going to open our program. We have a pastor with us, a wonderful, wonderful pastor of the East Side. Uh, mission and that entire complex. We're going to talk about all the growth that he's encompassing over there. He just took over another building. He just took over another building. Wait till you hear. And also, of course, by doing that, there's some serious financial needs as well. So, Pastor Lutz, would you introduce yourself a little bit and then, of course, open our program in a word of prayer, sir? Sure. I'm Pastor Lutz. I've been at uh, Eastside Mission since 2007. And God is doing some very, very exciting things in our neighborhood. And uh, it's just a pleasure to be here. I appreciate the time. And the Lord bless you with your uh, graduation yes, ceremony sir. today. That sounds wonderful. Well, thank you. Let's pray. Yes, sir. Father, we're thankful for the time we have here today. We thank you for the people that are listening. We ask that you would bless their lives, bless the lives of those that are working here, and keep us on track today so we can get things done as we should. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, thank you, Pastor. Appreciate that. It's an honor to have you on, sir, <clears throat> because of uh, the great work. Some folks may not really know what, and I don't know that I do, but I may know a little bit more than, than some, because I visit you frequently. Mm -hmm. One of your pastors is, has a child in our school, and uh, so I, I, I might know a tad more. I, I visit there. I see the folks that you feed at lunchtime. I see their needs. You know, it's just a great ministry that you have. And now you have taken over another building. Pastor, talk about that. Well, what happened was the shelter of Flint, which was in the next block from us, uh, they received a building from the child services uh, group here in Flint. It was a bigger building for them, give them more room for more housing. Uh, it actually, I believe, was a newer building. It's a beautiful building. I haven't been inside yet since it's on Cedar it. Street. Right? It's on Cedar Street, yeah. yes, and they're doing an outstanding job. And I talked to Ann Grantner, she's the director of that program, and uh, she called me and said, would you like our building? And I said, well, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so actually, we bought that building with the high amount of a dollar. And so they gave, actually gave us their building. Wow, uh, what a with blessing. The, with the idea that we would use it for service to the community. And you are. And uh, sure. we, are, we are not open yet, but we are doing some remodeling. We had, a, we had a terrible flood in uh, January. The hot water heat, two, of the, two or three of the pipes broke and just flooded everything in the building. And so we're actually doing a lot of cleanup and that kind of stuff in there right now. I have the architect's plan, plans for the remodeling and uh, we'll get started on that just as soon as we can. Okay. Uh, we can get the city's approval. Now I think if I understood you last time we met, sir, that was going to be your new place for feeding. Yes, you yes. That's one of the big things we're doing. We're remodeling the dining room and kitchen area so that we can move a lot of the things that we're doing in our present building over there. Uh, we'll have our uh, eye doctor over there. We'll have our, our lunches over Folks, there. Folks, listen to this now. This and is almost like a one-stop service. Yeah. Pastor, tell us <laughs> everything that goes on. This is exciting. Well, and we'll have our uh, laundry service there. Where people can come in and use the washers and dryers. Uh, we have... Uh, I haven't washed since January. Could I come over? You certainly can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we, we'll give you even a little break. I'll only charge you a dollar a load. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is so good. How many machines will you have, Well, sir? we'll have four. Okay. Four dryers and four washers. Four washers. We have a, a lady that uh, is a fantastic beautician. She comes in once a month and cuts hair. And I'm telling you, she is the fastest beautician in Michigan. She, you come in and you're out of there in just a few minutes, and you look like a million bucks. Wow. 
Oh. I've never seen people come out and look so good after they've had their hair cut by her. Remember Kojak? So, did, he, did he get his hair <laughs> cut? Oh, sure. We shave. We can shave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pastor, I didn't know this stuff. This is really good. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, a lot of things going on there, a lot of opportunities for people. Uh, we do a lot of referral. We don't have housing at this point. We may somewhere down the road. But uh, we do a lot of referral to other places for people that need housing. And uh, we have actually uh, people from Hamilton Clinic that come in and uh, interview people and help them get appointments for Hamilton Clinic. So it's just a lot of things going on all the time. I was with a lady from Hamilton Clinic this morning. We're going to, Mark and I will talk a little bit about that in just a moment or so. And Hamilton has a great outreach program. Yes, they do. In fact, we helped them and they helped us. Uh, signing up for basically Obamacare at our school. We mm -hmm. did it about six mm -hmm. Saturdays uh, with yeah. them. Yeah. Some as late as 7 o'clock in the evening on a mm -hmm. Saturday. So mm -hmm. they were very committed to that. And I don't know the final numbers, but I think it approached 1,000 people. Wow. I'm almost sure. That's great. Yeah. They do a great job. They okay. do a great job. Well, they come over uh, about once a week and meet with people and help great. them get signed up for health care and appointments to see their doctors and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. they really do a good job. They have job. a great executive director, Clarence, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. and um, great staff people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just just, just the real good folks, real good. Um, folks, if you want to call in, now you may want to ask Pastor about some <coughs> of these things he mentioned. The number to call is Mr. Hatcher, 239-5733. Call Mr. Hatcher. He's got his red and black earphones on. He's looking a real official today. 239-5733. Paul Herring is here if you have a question about aluminum siding or ballet <laughs> slippers. You go ahead and ask him. Are you alluding to the fact that I've been taking aluminum siding throughout the city? The thought never entered my mind, even though you're now driving a new car. <laughs> Folks, I am not suggesting that at all. Paul's a great guy. As you well know, we kid with him every single Saturday that we're here. His son, his son, his beautiful son, is graduating today at 2 o'clock from our school, and he is one of the speakers, Paul Herring. I I'm heard. Very impressed. I him. heard, That's yeah. Right. You guys kind of cajoled him into it well, at the uh, awards dinner. I saw I saw the uh, video, guys. You, you did, okay. Yeah, there was a little, I believe uh, they'd say in the, in the real world, a little pressure was applied. You know, okay. uh, I, I posted it on Facebook, and I called it when peer pressure comes from adults. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are pleased. He's such a, just a great kid. And, of course, will your other son, uh, Mark uh, Paul Jr., be there today as well? He will be at the graduation That's today, for sure. To yes, yes. Okay, very good. Wonderful, wonderful. The whole crew is actually at the house right I now, passing so. out. Juneteenth tabloids. Well, I pre Juneteenth is yeah. that coming? That's coming, it's up, coming in up in August, up. right? It's in August. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> well, when do you gonna, celebrate the Fourth of July, Art? We're going to give you a minute or two <laughs> to talk about the Juneteenth celebration, as we always do. Why don't you take the mic? Can Paul? I come over there and oh, and, and look official like I'm on the radio? Me. Don't sit near me. Okay. Oh goodness How gracious! Doing, buddy? Uh, is this is my good side. Yeah, this is my, all my sides are good. Isn't oh, look, I'm on camera. Hi, mom. Listen, I'm going to take the opportunity to invite everybody that can hear my voice to participate in this year's Juneteenth celebration. We're going to start it out uh, June 16th at G-Card at 5.30 with the Youth Freedom Fund dinner. As a matter of fact, Marcus is the keynote speaker whoa, whoa. for that dinner uh, on, uh, I'm impressed. on the 16th. Yeah, so that you guys need to come on out. Whoa. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Elvis. <laughs> We're only doing two days this year. I heard. But they're going to yeah. be big days. The mm -hmm. 16th, the Freedom Dinner, and then the 19th, we've got the parade at Max Brandon Park. People are going to start lining up around 3, 3.30. longest parade, right? Flint's largest mm -hmm. and longest parade. One time it took us three hours to get from tires, Pasadena yeah. to Riverbank Park. Okay. Okay? I, we're hoping I was, that we can beat I was that going way. the other way, though. I did not tell you that to be funny. But I had to get to the north end, and we were coming down MLK, and you, I drove very slowly. But you, you had lots of people, sir. It was one lot. It, it just yes, makes sir. me smile every year when I see yeah. the people that come out from the neighborhoods. Yeah. And you yeah, know, there's a had, lot of abandoned there were houses people around walking here. along the sidewalk. It's yes, fabulous. it was. It really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. It just makes me grin. Okay. So we're encouraging people to uh, get a hold of Catherine Blake, who's okay. in charge of the parade. She's at 701-4569. That's 701-4569. Uh, if you're a group, if you're a school, if you're a church, if you're an individual, you know, okay. anybody can walk in the Juneteenth Parade. It's all about having a good time and celebrating <coughs> Independence Day. Um, and the parade also, starts when? It's the parade starts, the lineup starts at 3 okay. in Max Brandon Park. Right. As a matter of fact, there's going to be activities out there. The Friends of Max Brandon Park yep. are going to put a lot of carnival out in Max Brandon Park so people can have things to do while they're well, lining up. It's going to be wonderful. And, yeah. and Flint Arts Project, too, is, is participating mm -hmm. out at Max Brandon Park. So it's going to promise to be a really good, good day. day out there. And okay. Catherine Brake, 
does an excellent job with All right, career. now they walk all this distance and drive. Now, what do they do uh, downtown when they get there? Tell us, tell us. Well, we're already going to be downtown partying. We're going to start partying downtown at noon. Uh -oh. Okay, we're going to have our vendors set up. Uh, they're coming down, and we're going to start sound at noon, and then we're going to go till 9.30 downtown. We've got some great, great entertainment. I don't know if you know um, uh, Allie Bradley? Yes. The dancer? Yes. She's, she's our headliner. And her husband. Uh, Not yeah. husband, her dad. Her dad. Don't say her husband. Oh. That's well, I know her dad. Bruce. Excuse me, Bruce. Yes, right, Bruce, course. Bruce. Bruce Bailey, old friend of mine, but she's going to be our headliner, and she's going to do a fabulous job. I so can't. Allie is her, okay. Excuse I can't. Me. Uh, I can't tell you how impressed I am with her. Sher Cherie. That's it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I can't tell you how impressed with this young lady. I've watched her grow from a child to an adult, and she is just a positive influence in this in, in this community. So, any of you moms and grandmoms and grandpas out there with a child that has an interest in dance, theater, drama, they need to be down in Riverbank Park to see what this young lady has done. Uh, not only uh, is, is she on the program, but we've got our Raise It Up Youth kids. Mm -hmm. You know, Natasha Thomas. Mm -hmm. um, I do. So. I, I just, I can't say enough good things about her and her program. Raise It Up Youth takes kids out of the city and teaches them poetry. Not only poetry, but performance. And it, and the, the, the logistics of it. I couldn't get logistics out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the logistics of it. And it's just, it's just fabulous to see these children. And, and get out their ideas and their thought in, in, in prose. It's just fabulous. You can't miss it. And again, Natasha, she does a wonderful, wonderful yeah, job. I'd like with to get her kids. at our school next year. It didn't work out this year. There were okay. some issues, and I think we have those resolved. You so got to make that happen. I, I'd like you to. You got to really make that would happen. Like that that'll happen. be a powerful yes, program sir. for the okay. school. Then I'm going to go old school on some folks. I don't know how many remember Chi Town Mac. I'm looking at these guys, and they have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Chi-Town, I'm going to hazard to say that Chi-Town Mac was on one of the first Flint After Dark TV shows that I did in the 80s. And he was a up-and-coming rapper in the city of Flint, and he did some wonderful things. He's going to be on stage with us. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, Brianna Allen coming back from last year. She's a 16-year-old diva. Just fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. i got the Wizards. Um, they're coming out. There's, uh, they're like, I think the youngest one is 8 or 9. Uh, brother, sister, brother, uh, trio, and they did some wonderful things. So we're going to have a great time. Actually, there's still room for more entertainment. So if you're out there and you can sing, you can dance, uh, you can rap, maybe tell stories. Juggle? Uh, tell a po no jugglers. No jugglers. No jugglers. Take no. care of me. Okay. <laughs> I always do because I juggle my schedule quite a bit. Yes, yes, okay. I agree. Sorry, I agree. Pastor, I'm not going to take up too much more time other than Good. to encourage you <laughs> I to give me a call at 239 2901 and get oh, involved with this again. year's Juneteenth celebration. Yeah, it's 239 2901 if you want to get involved with the parade, if you want to come down and vend. We're also doing a church outreach. Okay, Pastor? Uh, we figured it'd take ten and a half years for a heathen to visit each and every church in mm -hmm. the city. And we got ten Sunday. and a half minutes left mm -hmm. on this okay. program, so hurry up. So we figured we could bring them downtown all in one place. You could do your church shopping and enjoy Juneteenth at the same time. Great. Thanks, Art, for the time. All right, a dollar a minute. You owe me a hundred bucks. Bye. <laughs> Paul, thank you. Good luck in this event. I appreciate uh, of course. it. I do. Are we advertising with you? Did I send um, you anything yet? You did and you didn't at the same time. Okay. But well, I, I'm not sure. mad at you. You All guys right. always support right. Is it too late? It's never too late for you. Okay. We'll, we'll get a banner downtown on the stage you. or okay. something. Okay. Well, Pastor, don't go away because I want you. I'll yeah, stay close. Just please, right. I'd like you to maybe close with us a little bit. Okay. We got Mark Smith with us. Mark, pick up that mic. I, I didn't, I, I, we got a lot of folks here today. I wasn't counting on all these, but it's good. You are listed on the agenda, Mark Smith. Where were you this morning? I was at the Southwestern Academy attending the community education conference we're having, part of the master plan, and uh, trying to get everyone on board with the idea that schools are very critical to your community. You've got a hub right there. And back in the day, according to some uh, very old friends of mine, we had this concept where the schools were open later at night, uh, engaging the parents in all sorts of activities to give our educators everything they need to help these kids have the right start in life. Well stated. Very good. I knew a little bit about that program. I thought you did, Art. A little bit, a little bit. Um, very good, Mark. Now, there's another part of you <coughs> I'd like you to talk about somewhere. We're taking you somewhere at noon today. Can you tell us where that is, sir? 
Ah, uh, yes, sir. I am a disaster service volunteer with the American I thought Red he was going to finish when he said a disaster. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I, I am a disaster, call? yes, indeed. Uh, Mark, I'm going to interrupt you, only because we have a telephone call. And hello, caller. How do you do? How, how may we assist you, I believe, sir? Are you conducting tours and placement? Yeah, Paul is helping uh, interpret your call, sir, because I, I'm so far away I couldn't hear very well. If the question was tours, you betcha. I'll even give you one today after graduation. <laughs> but yes, just come on and call the school, 600, 5,000. We will give you a tour any day of the week, any day, afternoon, evening, morning, doesn't matter, even on the weekends if you wish. 600, 5,000, just ask for myself. Anybody can do it, but I'd love, just love to give you the tour. And uh, we do have summer school that will begin June 23rd. It goes for, uh, I think, the end of July. It's about a five, maybe six-week program. We'll have a special event in August as well. It's going to be our Parent Expo, and that'll be on the 6th of August, 7th of August, I believe. It's a Thursday. But, yes, we're full, and we have a summer program as well, and some of our kids will be... Um, Am I off the air? No, you're good. I'm on the air. Okay, something happened. But we have a, a good summer program as well, a lot of field trips, plus, of course, our regular summer school goes from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock uh, every single day of the week, four days a week, I should say, four days a week. Um, sir, are you still there? He, he hung up. Okay. Um, I, did you, was there two questions, Paul, that you were able to hear? Uh, just placement one? tests. Oh, okay, placement. Yeah, we have a diagnostic test, and it's in math and English. And uh, we give that uh, to make sure that the child is capable of starting in the grade that uh, we're going to offer him in our school. Some kids, be honest with you, some kids take that test and we have to l put them in a lower grade if the parent agrees to do that because uh, we want to, uh, it would be unfair to the child, it would be a disservice to the family if we were to place a child in a grade in which they could not um, uh, do well, in which they wouldn't be able to compete. So uh, that's why we do that. So that diagnostic test, uh, you just come on in, register with us, and up, make application, and then the test dates will be set for you. And uh, we'll do that throughout the summer months as well. So I, I hope then, Paul Herring, that I covered that gentleman's call. It was a gentleman, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I, I really couldn't hear very well, party. The you got them. You got both I, questions. I, I did good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Paul, for interpreting. And sir, thank you for calling. We appreciate a you listening and b taking an active interest in our school. Thank you very, very kindly. Six hundred five thousand. My name's Art. Love, love to give you a tour. Bring the family. The more, the merrier. All right. And with that, we shall go back to Mark Smith, my good friend, and uh, tell us about uh, the, uh, your disaster. You're going to be a trainer or something of that nature. Give us a brief analysis before I got my kids. We got to put up my kids on. Go ahead, sir. Very briefly. Uh, last year's winter especially the ice storm over the Christmas holidays indicated Flint is simply not prepared for disaster. And incidentally, this is the, I believe it's the 61st anniversary of the Beecher tornado. Oh, wow. Thank uh, you. I spoke wow. to a couple of people yesterday who went through it. <clears throat> a recent survey showed that 80% of Flint does not feel they are properly prepared, and of that other 20%, they may have some higher expectations for themselves and... Mm -hmm. We're going out into the community, it's an outreach, to educate church groups, school groups, civic organizations, and going to private homes, passing out basic emergency equipment and information on how you can make the first three days of a major disaster because you're on your own for the first three days. Don't count on any support. Mm -hmm. That's what we're <clears> doing. <throat> uh, it's down at the Red Cross headquarters, chapter headquarters for Genesee Lapeer. 1401 Grand Travers and 69. Got it. The phone number is 232-1401. If you'd like to get some of the training, or even better, if you'd like to be one of the outreach volunteers we have going into the community to train, give us a call. We'll get you in touch with someone who can help. And before I go, I've got to say, Art Winsloff and the International Academy, their curriculum is fantastic. The civic activities, when your student goes here, not only are they going to have a college education 
which will provide for you in your old age very nicely. Rolls Royces, they'll, they'll be set for it. You get a very well-rounded student. If you don't do it for the kids, do it for your retirement. Okay. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> very unique approach. i got to incorporate that into our Mac marketing plan. What do you think of that one, Paul? I'm ready. I the want a red Rolls Royce. Oh, Mark, thank you. Great, great, great. And, Mark, we're going to have probably an information kind of session the end of June at our school. We'll deliver to our neighborhood, but everybody's going to be able to come to that so they can be prepared for a disaster of a maximum of, well, whatever, but the first three days is what they need to be. Yes, I believe uh, we've got it tentatively scheduled for the last Thursday, Thursday you know, of the month. Yeah, I have to approve that with the board. Details will I, that's follow. That's what I'm going to offer them. Mark, thank you. That is so good. And Mark knows disaster, I tell you. He's a radio freak, and I mean that in a very courteous way. And he's into disasters. He's got training, excellent training in that. And he's even going to assist the Red Cross in in their uh, preparation as well. Mary Sanders, get over here. Get over here. We've got to brag about you. Something happened this week. We've got to brag about you. Marcel, are you going to join us, buddy? With that new haircut of yours? Well, while Mary's coming, she's either going to fall asleep or show us something. I'm not sure which here. Um, Marquise, how are you doing today? I want to thank you guys, all three of you, for helping us today. We have we prepared the gym for graduation, so we thank you for that last night. Okay. And Mar Marzell, how you doing? Good. Everything's good? Okay. Marquise, what's going on next week? Tell us, tell us. Finals. Uh-oh, there's a bad <laughs> word. Okay. <laughs> but I heard you had an oral final already in some course. And you tell us about that. Okay. I had an oral Spanish final Friday. And this, the grade was? 100. Out of how many? 300? Maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, so you something in Spanish besides taco? taco. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Can you say anything you'd like to in Spanish here? Hey, Pepe. Uh, One of my oral questions was, what do I take with me when I go camping? Okay, and the answer is? It was... Oh, you're going to answer in Spanish, right? Yeah. Okay, try to do that before the program's over. Okay. <laughs> If I can remember it. Uh, I can't remember it. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's move on. Okay. Mother Mary, how are you today? <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to brag about you a little bit. I think Wednesday of this past week at about 12 o'clock, what happened? Uh, the St. Luke's uh, graduated me from the program. And what what program was that, dear? It's a sewing program for women. And this means what? This means employment. <laughs> okay, so you have the potential employment with the New Life program, Paul, on, on with uh, uh, St. Luke's program up on um, Forest Hill and uh, Lawndale, somewhere right in, nice. in here, Pasadena. Sister Carol, Sister Judy, the great program. These folks are outstanding. A number of people were graduating. What must have been third, twenty to thirty-ish. Right, she deserves Almost. it. There's she, no question. She really does yeah, deserve it. She has got a heart of, a heart of gold. This lady right yes, here? Yes, she does. If you're listening and, and, and have an opportunity, Mary's the one for you. Okay. Oh, Very thank good. You. Thank you. Uh, that's great. Now, it's possible you might be able to be employed by New Life. Is that correct? Yes, I have okay. to go through um, a few tests and... And another interview, okay. a, a final well, interview. Now you, you, again, you're not going to fall asleep on me. Show folks your um, your pillow that you made. That was well, part of. This is actually for you. This for being such a great mentor and. Nice. Uh, really? You got my name on there. <laughs> it says Pookie. I had Way to, to go! I had to rush it because we weren't <laughs> expecting to be here today. But. Um, Mary, thank you. That was a gift from me and the boys. Oh yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. And folks, on the radio, it's orange and purple and a, a brown mix <coughs> and stitched nice and tight. What's in it? What's in it? Well, there's cotton in there. This isn't full of money. Not oh, enough. dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, thank you. Pastor, look at this. Look at this. Wonderful. It's wonderful. I'm holding it up to the radio audience that the camera is well. You're holding it up to the radio audience. Mary, thank you. That was very sweet of you. Okay. Four now, minutes, Art. I got down to four. Let's put Marzell on there. Marzell, uh, how you doing and what's going on and what do you got planned and talk to me a little bit. Nice to see you too, by the way. I'm doing good and I took my Spanish oral. Oh, Friday you too? too? What's the word, bird? There were three scores. My first score was uh, a 90. My second score was an 85. And my third score was a 97. What, what was the 97 in? That's outstanding. 
It was in vocabulary. Okay, so you know a bunch of Spanish words then. That's very excellent. Yeah. I'm pleased to you. Did, if you. Are you able to say something in Spanish that Marquise couldn't think of? Nacho. Nacho. <laughs> we have an outstanding program at our school, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to the depths of our curriculum, merely drive through a Taco Bell restaurant <laughs> and you will see what we have at our school. All the way to go. Mary, uh, thank you for bringing the kids. What were you doing yesterday, Mary Sanders, if you don't mind me telling you, in the morning? Uh, in the morning, we were preparing the McKinley uh, field to make it a, a ball, ball field. Okay, and what, what was going on, and what did you do? Oh, I had to, um, I had to take the, the grass up. Someone had cut the grass. The sod, yeah, and we had to sod. remove the sod to prepare an infield. Okay, yeah. Pastor, if you need an infield for any activity, or a, a ball field, you're welcome to use the McKinley Park infield. Oh, it's wow. not finished yet, but we're on the way. Mm -hmm. and that's a neighborhood project. I got two minutes, Paul. Okay, thank you. Mary, thank you for that, plus uh, your efforts last evening helping us get the, the gym in order for the kids today and for the families that are come in. Folks, International Academy of Flint at 14, no, 2820 South Saginaw Street. We're a college prep school, and we have a diagnostic test that that wonderful caller called in and asked about. We'll give that to your child. And if you can take that before summer school, and it might be possible, we will, if you need a little assistance in terms of uh, what they may uh, need to know, we'll have free summer school for you as well. Um, let's see, gentlemen, Pastor, why don't you come on in, and, you gotta and yell. Mark, you come you on in, too, because we always do a little whoopee here at the we end. Yell. And uh, anyway, we got a great group. we got Mark Smith, neighborhood resident, lives right on South Saginaw, helps us with a number of things. We've got the Sanders family, world's bestest ever volunteers. We're so very proud of them, and of course, I, I know there's no word as bestest ever. And Pastor is with us from Eastside Mission, who helps us also with our Thanksgiving dinner. We have a wonderful relationship, Pastor, with you, and we're very proud of the things that you're accomplishing there. Thank you. Because you work with people. Gracias. You work with people. And it, <laughs> you know more than our two kids, <laughs> our Pastor. And anyway, um, 30 seconds. God is blessing you, and it's just wonderful. And anyway, I, we won't have time to close in prayer because I'm going to do this crazy closing of mine. And we always do the following. I can't see a thing without my glasses. Let me put on my knife and fork from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, put in my pocket. <laughs> oh, it's a wild day. Anyway, we always say, if you are walking your dog, if you are sitting at a computer working on a, on a, on a blog, or are you just simply sitting there in a fog, or are you uh, using the letter U today, my friends, nice. unnecessarily uniting useless unbecoming unicorns who uncannily unbundle unessential and uneventful urban urchins unluckily using uranium uvulas which are mostly re realize euthane used unusually by unipods as they uniquely unite in Uruguay, Uganda, or the Ukraine. Look at somebody and say, Woo!